Okay, so we're gonna start in the back of our mats here and just start with a nice little side bend. So bend the knees, feet are about hip distance apart and we're gonna just gonna go side to side. Already starting to warm up the core here. So ribs are down, abs are in. Nice little side bend. You can look up towards the sky as well. That helps to actually take the bend a little bit deeper. Good. And this is your time to just settle into your body and just allow this time to be for you. Just this self-care little, very small chunk of time in the grand scheme of things, but it makes such a big difference. All right, so we're gonna take our legs out, just a little bit wider, toes are out, and we're gonna take a nice big squat and up. Nice, reach for 10 and up. Really sit the booty back, nine and up, eight and up, seven and up, good, six and five, really warming up here, four, and three, good, and two, really stretch the arms, one, and up, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna bring the legs back in. I just want you to lift the knees up, up and up. This is really good for your posture. Draw the ribs down, lift the back up. So feel like you're almost squeezing the shoulder blades together and pull the abs in. You're gonna feel those hip flexors starting to work, which is really good. Because sometimes they actually get really weak from sitting so much. So this is gonna help kind of pull everything back into alignment. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great. So I'm gonna face you, place the hands behind the head. We're gonna now take this elbow to our knee. Nice standing core work here. Get into that core. Elbows wide, shoulders down. Let's go. 10 times like that. 10, nine. I love this one because you really have to use this glute back here, right? Just to stabilize you, which is pretty challenging. Give you a nice little booty sculpt. Good. Six, five, good. Four, three, two, and one, good. So really think of the knee going up to the elbow instead of the elbow going to the knee. Here we go, other side. 10, nine, feel those obliques work. Eight, this is just the start of our core. Got a lot of core today. Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good, okay. So let's come to the front of our mat. Come all the way down and we're gonna get right into our core mat work here. Let's start with a few cat cows. I love this one, in a seated position. So not your normal cat cow on knees and hands, but on our hips like this. So roll through, pull it in, and then roll through the spine. Lift up, oh, release the chin back, good. Little rolls here. I think this one feels so, so, so good. Just kind of move in which way you want. If you find something here, you want to kind of explore, move through your body. Just go ahead and do that. Feels really good. Nice, okay, so come back up to the center. Now begin by pulling the abs in, draw the ribs down, even pull the pelvic floor up. Lift up tall through the chest, and then feel like someone socked you in the stomach. So like that, okay? And give a little cough even. Notice how everything kind of draws in. So that's where you want to be with the core. You really want to brace the core. Even when you breathe in, you can actually breathe to the side of the ribs. Good, so keep that nice core tight as we roll back into what's called a C curve. So hold here, draw the shoulders down, elbows lift, and we're just gonna lift, lower, lift, lower. Beautiful, lift, lower, lift, lower. Notice my feet are flat on the ground. My legs are extended, right? I'm not all the way up here like this. They're, they're pretty long here. Good, 10, nine. This is really challenging. Remember the first time I did this, I could not even do it at all. So if you're just getting through a few reps, that's okay. Six, you just build. Five, that's why I love Pilates because even if the exercise is tough, 
you can at least try and you just keep building. Three, two, one, hold here. Now we're gonna add a little twist and twist. Like you're hugging a beach ball, but don't let the knees come with you. Keep the knees and hips exactly where they are, nice and still, and just the arms move. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come on up for a little break. And then we're gonna roll right back down again. Good, coming into that curve, pull the abs in. Nice, we're gonna lift the arms up overhead, frame in the face in this nice big circular position, like a ballet arm, lifting up for 10 and lower. Nine, eight. I know it's pretty tough. If you need to come up a little bit, that's okay. That's what you do. Seven and six, or maybe you can lower down more. Five, whoo, four. You might hear me shaking. Three and two and one. Good, now I want you to slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll down as slowly as you possibly can. Even slower, even slower. That's it, great work. Okay, now bring the feet in just slightly more. And then now grab the hands underneath the thighs and roll yourself up, all the way up, nice. And you're gonna roll yourself down. Pull the abs in, pelvic floor in, ribs down. Nice, one vertebrae at a time. It's so incredibly healthy to segment your vertebrae. This is what you're doing right here. You're literally moving up one vertebrae at a time. And what happens as we get older or when people start to feel pain in their back is it's because they're losing the segmentation in their spine, right? So this is why it's so important to just go one at a time. And when you move really slow like this, you can actually focus on it, mindfully move and segment. And imagine one vertebrae coming off the floor at a time, like a strand of pearls, just one at a time. Good. Now, if you can let go of the arms, challenge yourself and see if you can. Good, one at a time. I like to exhale when I'm exerting the most effort. So it's really challenging and you're doing great work here. Keeping that lower belly in. Nice. All right, come on up. Last one, all the way. Up, up, up. Whew. That was so good. Extend the legs long, lift up through the arms, reach up and fall forward all the way down to your legs. Just take a nice relaxing forward fold. Take a nice big deep breath in, allow yourself to just relax and release here, letting the work go. There definitely will be challenging times of the workout, but I think some of the most challenging thing is moving so slowly, right? I think we all move so quickly in life, we're so busy. When we slow down, it can be really, really challenging. Nice, and then let's come up and start here in this seated position, legs out long, reach the arms forward, pull the abs in, and then curve the spine just like we did. And we're gonna roll down as slowly as you can one vertebrae at a time. That's it, one at a time. Whew. And all the way down, beautiful. Inhale, we're gonna come back up, exhale. Pull everything in, ribs down, draw the belly in, pull the pelvic floor in, exhale. There you go, that's it, inhale. So you wanna make sure that you're using your breath for power. So the best time to use it, nice and slow, is when you're coming up, so you inhale here, Exhale. There you go. Now we're gonna add a little reach over the toes. Reach over the toes. Now stay reaching towards your toes like someone's pulling your fingers and then someone's pulling your belly button back. So they're going in opposite directions. Stay in that curve. Stay in the curve. That's it, good. Inhale. Exhale. All the way up, nice and slow. Reach over the toes. 
Nice, feel that nice long stretch. Now reach through the fingers, pull the abs in, go as slowly as you can. Feel like someone is, has your belly button and they're pulling you from the back. One vertebrae at a time. Ah, oh, beautiful. Last one, here we go. All the way up. And let's take another stretch forward, just like that. Take a deep breath. In and out through the nose. And come on up. Beautiful. And then take the hands behind you. Come up into a nice reverse plank here. So you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press through the feet. Lift up through the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift up, up, up. And slowly come down nice. That's a tough one for sure. Okay, so now let's come all the way on to our backs. And we're gonna move into bridge pose here. So we're gonna take our legs and we're going to roll them up, roll the hips up. Good, so you're gonna roll the hips up and then roll the hips down, all the way down. Nice, so press the palms down to the floor and then roll all the way through up and then lower down, nice. Now let's add our arms. So we're gonna lift the arms up, everything lifts, squeeze the glutes and roll down. One vertebrae at a time, just like when we were doing our roll-ups. Good, and roll it up and roll it down. Really focusing on engaging the glutes and the hamstrings. Squeeze the booty, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So it's not about pushing up, it's about actually tucking the pelvis under. Nice, now bring the left leg towards the center. Keep squeezing the glutes underneath you. Ribs are in, tuck the pelvis. Bring the left leg into the center and then bring the right leg up towards the sky in a tabletop position. Just tap the foot and lift. Tap and lift. Oh yes, you're gonna feel this now. And lift. Good, four and five. Woo. Six, if it's too much with the arms, you can just place the hands down on the ground and that's gonna give you a little bit more support. Three and two and one. Nice, now reach the leg all the way up towards the sky. Now again, if you can, you can reach the arms up for a little more challenge. We're gonna lower the leg and up 10 times. 10 and up, really press through the opposite heel. Nine and up. Eight, you can even take the hands overhead for a little extra challenge. Seven and six, five and four, three and two and one. Reach the arms, reach the leg up, little pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that go. Woo pretty challenging, right? That is burning, it's getting spicy in there. All right, let's roll on up, all the way up into your bridge, and then scooch the right leg over, reach the arms up, and then lift the left leg up. Really press through the right heel, draw the ribs in, tuck the tailbone under, tap the toe, and lift 10 times, 10 and up. Nine, really focus on the right hamstring, the right glue, eight, Seven and six, five, good. Four, three and two and one. Here we go. It's gonna heat up in here. 10, nine, whew, eight, seven, six. I love this because this five really works the hamstrings and glutes without overworking the quads, right? My quads always take over, so I like to work my glutes this way. Two and one. Good, lift it up 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let that go. Oh man, hurts so good, right? Okay, we're gonna take the hands behind the head. We're gonna take our legs into this little diamond position. And we're gonna take one leg down at a time. Switch, 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 and switch. Lower belly squeezes in, ribs down. I know I remind you like a million times because I'm reminding myself as well. It really does take that much focus and concentration. Good, and so we're gonna switch 
for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, release it back. <sighs> Take a little breather. You can rock side to side. All right, we're gonna come on up. We're gonna lift the chin in towards our chest, lift the head up, and we're just going to reach the arms forward here, just like this. Starting to pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. So we're going into our 100, and we're gonna extend one leg, and then switch. Good, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Good. So keep that going. If ever you need support, just place the hands behind the head and continue everything as is. Good. Inhale. Going through your nose. Good. Four more times. Three. Two. Last one. Good, and then reach the legs out long. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and let that go. Whew. Pretty intense, but that really, really builds up core strength really, really fast. Okay, let's come on up. And we're gonna move on to our stomachs here. So just lower down onto your stomach and take a nice little sphinx pose. We've done a lot of core already. So push the elbows into the ground. This is just a nice release. Oh, it feels really good. I felt it on my back as well. Inhale, exhale. Just enjoy this nice little rest as we refresh and then recommit to the rest of the workout. Okay, lower down. Let's take a, another stretch here. Arms are nice and wide, legs are together. And then we're gonna tap over to the side and then come back in. Ooh, I just felt a bunch of pops in my back. And then reach over to the other side. This one feels so good. So keep the arms just flat down like that. Oh, this one feels really, really good. Nice. Just give yourself this nice little yummy mobility exercise to just release everything. Release the tension. Just know that with every breath out, you are releasing tension. You are letting go. Good. And back. All right, so we're gonna bring our elbows down to the floor. Forearms are parallel to one another. And we're gonna bring our toes, turn them underneath, just like that. And let's lift on up into a forearm plank. Okay, so now we're in our forearm plank. Make sure that your lower belly is squeezing in and up. Nice, holding it here. And we're gonna tap the knees down and lift everything up 10 times just like that for 10 and up, nine and up. If you're new to plank, I just recommend holding the knees there. Seven, six, just stay in your half plank. Five, four, three and two and one. Beautiful, now right from there, walk it all the way up into a high plank pose. There you go. We're gonna lift the right leg up Pull it in, extend, tap it down, other side. Left leg, pull it in, extend, and down. Up, in, out, and down. Up, in, out, and down. Good, keep going. You just really wanna focus on lengthening your spine. So even if, as you start to feel tired and heavy, you're actually gonna feel lighter with every breath. Feel yourself getting lighter and stronger, stronger and stronger. Every breath, every move, good. Keep going, lengthen out through the leg. Feel light, feel strong. Let's go, last two, you've got this. And out, and up, in, out, and down. Right from here, we're gonna lower all the way down to the floor. Lift the arms and the legs up, up, and Press it back up into high plank pose. 10 times just like that. You've got this. 10 and up. Nine 
and up. Good. Eight. Up. Whew. I'm getting sweaty. How about you? And up. Good. Six. Really good for the back and the arms. And up. Five. And up. Almost there. I know. What's great about this is you can take this at your own pace, right? However many you do is amazing. And then you just build right from there, one at a time. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Three, and up, and two. Come on, we can do it. I'm with you. And out, last one, and up. Come all the way down. Good, hold the arms, hold the legs out. And we're gonna just reach the arms back, reach the arms forward. We're gonna open the legs as we reach back, close the legs as we reach forward. Here we go. And up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, working on our posture, five, and our back, four, three, and two, and one. Good, now we're gonna reach it forward. We're gonna swim opposite arm and leg. So we're gonna lift, lift, lift. Up, 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 up. Good, swim and swim. Good for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a little breather right here. Whew. Just take a breath right here. Inhale and exhale. Just allowing yourself to experience the hot, heavy breathing, the sweat, the sensation of your body. All right. So we're actually just going to move on to our sides now. So we're gonna lay all the way to the side and we're gonna begin to work a little bit on the legs. So lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it, just like that. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Feel the inner thighs work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the leg up there and just let the bottom leg come to meet it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the legs there. We're gonna do little scissors here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Feel those inner thighs, two, and one. Bend the knees in. Right from here, we're just going to lift up and shoot the leg out and then lower down. All right, here we go. Actually, let's come onto our hand, not our elbow. So come onto your hand. Okay, let's go for 10 and nine. If it hurts your knees at all, just put a little pillow under your knees. Seven, six, five. Feel the outer glutes and thighs work. Four and good three two and one hold it here so you're kind of in this side plank make sure that the hip is a little bit more down not so up good hold here i'm gonna go ten nine eight seven six five four hold those ribs three two and one Reach the leg out, little circles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Feel those glutes work. Three, two, one, other way. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy. All right. Last little thing here. We're just gonna lift, staying here. You can readjust if you need to. Just lift 10. If it's too much on the hand, 
Let's actually all lower onto the elbow. I think it was a little too intense on the hand. Elbow for this last one. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep the hips up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh boy, bring the knees in. Take a nice little stretch here. Take a deep breath, just knowing that with each breath, your body's getting calmer, more relaxed. Okay, let's go to the other side. So this is our last little bit here. Last little section, you already know it's coming up. And here we go for 10 and lower. Nine, really resist on the way down. Eight, nice strong core. Have this nice soft landing. Five and four, three and two and one. Hold it out there, good, for 10 and nine. Woo. We're getting it all in in such a short amount of time. You can really make such progress, so much progress in your strength, your mobility, flexibility, and just showing up on your mat with me. No equipment, just your own body weight. It's pretty amazing what you can do and how strong you can get. Three, two, and one. Good, little circles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This is our finisher. Three, two, other way. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's lower down onto the elbow for our last 10 lifts here. 10. Woo! Spicy for sure up in those buns. Good. Eight, seven, six, five. This is it. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, you made it to your cool down. The moment you've been waiting for. Oh, take that nice stretch there. Beautiful, beautiful work. Wow. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. It takes a lot for me to sweat. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Oh my goodness. Wow. It is burning there. <laughs> Spicy today. You did such an amazing job just showing up, being here with me. Know that every time you work out with me, you are making progress, you are getting stronger, you're getting closer to your goals, and I'm gonna help you get there every day. Keep, keep going. I know sometimes there can be setbacks, there can be struggles, and that's all part of the process. We all experience that. It's never just a linear path to where we wanna go. There's always gonna be setbacks and it's all about how do you handle those setbacks? How do you respond to it? Do you stick to your goals? Do you know that you're meant for your goals? Do you know that it's gonna be there for you? Or do you let the little setbacks really set you back and take you off course? So that's what separates the people who achieve the goals and who doesn't. I think it's really in those moments of the setbacks. How can you get over it? How can you move past it? How can you re-strengthen your commitment or your belief in yourself? Tell yourself over and over again that you've got this. Let's take a nice little, ooh, double pigeon. Oh, man, that's a deep one. You did an amazing job, so just make sure that even if you're facing a challenge right now, to recommit to yourself, believe in yourself, tell yourself you've got it, because I believe in you. Amazing, amazing work today. I'm Action Jacqueline. That was so fun to work out with you. Comment below, let me know which move was your favorite. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Click the button, the like button, all that good stuff. And um, check out all the other yoga, Pilates, bar classes I have for you. Okay, can't wait to see you in our next workout. Bye.